Hello and greetings Earthlings. What is up and what is good YouTube the World Wide Web as you guys can see in live full HD is your host with the most Paul Cantu back at you guys with a huge fan flame unboxing straight from the depths of my motherfucker Cantu Roddy Candy Blue Crew. Now you guys I assume I've been sifting and digging through the thrift and have been blessed enough to actually send me some straight up amazing parcels full of vintage love flame straight up so without further ado i'm going to go ahead and unbox each and every one of these items i was sent from my loyal fan base i definitely do appreciate each and every one of you guys i like referring to y'all as family as opposed to fans because really without y'all i would not be here i definitely appreciate all the support i've been getting lately on Re the horse has been loving it too so without further ado, let's get into the first parcel right here. So the first albino cardboard box is from my boy Rijo Moreno, or Rijo, Rijo, whatever the case may be, Rigo. We're gonna go ahead and crack this open. I'm sorry for massacring your name, but I said it a million and one ways to accommodate all types of pronunciations, bruh. All right, Rigo, I see what you did here. Trying to make my horse struggle. Ah. All right, so we are fresh in this thing, and as you guys can see, there is a beautiful letter. So without further ado, let's join LeVar Burton times Paul Cantu's reading session, shall we? <laughs> oh, them labor tips, though? Oh, shit, this is tight. <clears throat> All right, it says, what is up and what is good, Paul? It took me a little bit longer than what I expected to send these hats out to you, but better late than never, true. Like I said in my email, my girl and I are big fans and watch your videos all the time. In fact, I used your DIY video to restore these hats. Knowing how to restore a customized gear gives you a lot more variety to choose from when thrifting. Yes, it does. So any of you guys who are into customizing shit, definitely do so and dig into thrifts. I have a big head and none of these hats fit me, so that's why I'm sending them to you. You can keep them or put them on HFV, bro. Do with them as you wish. Keep up the good work. Your boy, Rigo Big Rig Moreno, and his Instagram is at big underscore Riggy. So thank you so much, man. Woo! So I already see a piece of flame that he sent me. It is this really sick Pepsi Racing snapback right here. You guys already know. You got number 24 straight on the back right there. This thing is all embroidered. The thread count is crazy. Red, white, and blue colorway all day. It's Chase Authentic with the multicolored NASCAR embroidery. Flamey for sure. Oh, 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 no he didn't. All right, so the next hat, of course I have to keep. It is the Dare to Keep Kids Off Drugs hat right here. You guys already know drug free is the way to be supposedly. So I have to go ahead and keep this hat in the personal collection. I have a shirt that matches this guy. This is incredibly dope. It has the nice Chicago Bulls red brim, all the embroidery. This thing is quality with the cardboard insert. Big rig, you done did too much this time. Oh my dear God. So the next hat the homie sent me is the NWO. New World Order snapback so I can be on my Illuminati shit. It's in the high fashion colorway and on the back it reads New World Order and it's a scrap back. Bruh, this thing is too clean. I'm gonna be joining the Bush administration rocking and shocking this bad boy straight up. Then the next piece of flamey sent me is simple yet sexy. It is this Chicago Bears cinch back that is right not a snapback but you guys can actually adjust the size of the hat with this thing right here very rare very vintage and of course it's voracious and then last but certainly not least it appears you threw in some high fashion fuego that is right the rolex curve brim strap back with the rolly embellishment right there and the brass on that ass Check it out, it's a little bit faded, but either way, I might acid wash this and do some custom shit to it. But this is a really sick snap for show. And I got a rolly on my head and out of my wrist, bitch. Shut the fuck up, bitch! So thank you so much, Big Rig. All those snapbacks are amazing, and all of them I gotta keep in the personal collection. You came through and hit the nail on the head like a boss. Toot toot with it, son. Tripping. All right, so the next parcel is from my favorite two women on earth in the thrift game, and those are my thrift guardians. Shout out to my girl Pippa one time, because she actually texted me and let me know about this piece of fuego in the thrift. So hopefully this is what I presume it to be. And there's a letter. What's up, G? Is it sending? No, it's not, but it's that nice bubble tape pink. Ooh, look at that, how cute. <clears throat> 
It reads, Slim Jesus. This shirt is so offensive, don't mention us. Make up whatever shit you want to say, LOL. This is not from Pippa. This is not from my Thrift Guardians. This is straight from the Thrift God's father himself. And it is, of course, that mother freaking Jesus Christ swag. Wait, hold up, bring it back. Hallelujah. Boom, look at this fire ass piece of flame. It says, Our Lord with Jesus Christ. Look in the sky like, oh boy. He's hanging on the cross like a boss. This is highly disrespectful, everything I'm saying, but this shirt is definitely flame. And guess what brand it's by? It's by, uh, I don't even know. All right, the next up for some slight quick work, we have another package right here. It is from the homie Ryan Rack. Racks on racks on racks, racks. Woo, it's so easy. So my boy Ryan went ahead and sent me a bunch of flame. So the first piece right here appears to be a Michigan Wolverines all embroidered little crew neck size large. Unfortunately, I sell them in college, so I'm not gonna rock and shock this yet, but it's definitely is clean. The embroidery is crazy. The gold nacho cheese on the end dipping down to the nice navy blue. Woo! What it do? And then the next piece, oh boy, sent me is this really sick Pacific Trail neon icon-esque piece of flame windbreaker right here. This is very, very dope. You got the pink on one side, the lime green on the other. This is loud, proud, and I will definitely hit up a disco in this, like, whoosh. So I know this video was quick, short, simple, sexy, but I had to go ahead and unbox a couple of things that you guys actually sent me. There are a lot of y'all who hit me up on email. Trust me, I will get to that. I'm very busy right now. I'm actually gonna be moving very, very soon. So definitely stay tuned. I'll hit all you guys with my address. Anyone else wanting to send me shit, I definitely appreciate it. Again, you guys can email me down below. Live the dream, eat ice cream, and I have a very, very dope video coming tomorrow. See y'all next time. Peace out. I love y'all for real though. I couldn't be here without y'all. Killing these songs, leaving a bloody life, I roost them. And I'm in it to win it, so I'm somebody that you should get used to.